Thank you, Rance. Over the years, many women have suffered in silence when it comes to the loss of a child. And today I have Nikki Carswell, who is an author here, and you are taking a step into sharing that story, opening up the conversation for women, and also writing it down so that they can have solace in their own space and in their home. Thank yes. you so much for coming to River City Live to share this with us. Thank you so much for having me. So in terms of this process, it's something that often we really don't discuss as women. And I think inherently, we know that our bodies are capable of so much, our minds are capable of so much, and when our bodies are not there and when we do experience the loss of a child, so many women tend to suffer depression, mm -hmm. suicidal thoughts. I mean, there's so many challenges that yes. they face in addition yes. to that grief. Mm -hmm. So how did you create an experience within this book that can really serve as a tool for helping women? Thank you so much. Um, God really gave me a vision to help these mothers out. Uh, my passion is youth, and uh, me working with youth, I realized that I can't help my youth unless I help my mothers. So when God gave me a vision um, to bring you know, mothers together to help them, um, to educate them, to support them, to love them, uh, to bring them around mothers who can relate. Um, and so the book, of course, came out um, just writing it down. You know, it's a, it's a form of healing for them, um, the trauma that they suffer from losing a child. Of course, it would never bring their child back, but the love that I, I love to love on them. You know, they support me. And so, you know, just helping them with their purpose, turning their pain into purpose. And how have you created a community with this? Because I think that's so much of it too, is just reaching out to women and letting them know that it is not you. This right. is this is at the at the core of it. It's science. It's nothing that you did. It is something that right. tragically happened to you. Right. But as when we feel that guilt, and mm -hmm. especially in today's time where there's such an attack on women's bodies, right. how do you help people combat that guilt through your book? Grace, um, love, and support. Um, let them know that you know they're not alone. Uh, we all at some point would have to deal with grief. Um, and so sometimes we're just not ready for that. And sometimes it's about accepting grief. And so again, giving them love and that grace to let them know that they can keep pushing forward, you know, because they other have kids and they have lives as well. Right. And so my pain is that turning their purpose into pain. And it's such a, a beautiful gift that you have that you were able to do that yes. because it's, it's a challenging space where you came Correct. from. So I applaud you that you were Thank willing you. to open your heart and share this with women. Right. What did that journey look like for you? How did you get to this point? Like what helped you summit the mountain? Um, God, really, um, like I said, this was really my purpose, uh, bringing these mothers together. This is not an organization that I sat and, you know, right now it was something God gave me a vision and I've been running with it. This is my fourth year. Uh, with Silent Women Speaking. We host uh, Mother's Day brunches for them. Um, anything I can do that I, you know, could think of to try to help them, that's what, you know, I do. So it was a vision God gave me and here we are. Here we are and yes. here we will continue to yes. be. Thank you so much for sharing Thank the stage you. with us. You. Um, you might not know this, but Nikki was actually, we were putting the dots together. She yes. was recognized at our Image Awards um, as being an icon in the community. Thank so you. just know that that light is touching so many people. Thank you. I am just so happy that the Lord continues to shine brightly yes. through you. If people want to connect with you, obviously get your book, but obviously just connect with the other resources you provide. Yes. What should they do? They can go to Silent Women Speaking. That's www.silentwomenspeaking.org or they can reach me at 904 Four four zero nine one seven eight. Wonderful. Now Nikki Thank is going to stay with me for River City Plus at ten fifteen, so we can take a deep dive into this conversation. The Painful Tears of Silent Women book launch is going to be going down on Saturday from four to seven at five three one zero Lenox Avenue. So make sure that you follow Nikki to have all of the information that you need and more about the organization at SilentWomenSpeaking.org. So when we come back, we are going to get a little bit perky and a little bit brighter with some pausing for pets. So please stick with us.